everyone, it's Dr. Kim. Good morning, I'm out for a walk with my little sweetheart and I will show you him this time because I had some people ask about that. Here's a little baby. So I wanted to share today, other than that, about so much of what's happening in the world out there and how we can allow it to be an invitation to integrate what we're being asked to integrate in here. Yes, there's a lot of drama, trauma, turmoil, all kinds of things, and a lot of separation and discord at like a really core level. And it doesn't need to be doom and gloom of like, whoa, the world's falling apart. It is so that sort of 3D representation of a discord that's been within us at like a 5D level, a, a, an alignment that needs to happen within ourselves. And, and is it like, until it happens, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse out there in what we're seeing or, you know, what's going on in our world. And in this, this discord and separation, um, because it has to be addressed within ourselves. And that discord has been with, it, with our spaces of masculine and feminine, divine masculine and divine feminine of who we are inside. So whether you're a woman or you're, ma you're a man, we both have these masculine and feminine aspects of self. It's not, you know, like women can have more femininity and mas men can have more masculine. Like we can be individually or vice versa. We could be a more masculine woman or a more uh, feminine man by nature. But it's when we do this by a contrived way of being like, oh, I'm going to be tough. I'm not going to let anyone hurt me. I'm not going to be dependent on anyone. And then we go more into our masculine as a way of defending or so I'm not vulnerable to this harsh, cruel world. People are taking advantage of me. And then we go into our masculine we are internally creating what that patriarchal suppression is that's happening on the outside it's an expression of what we've embodied within ourselves. where have we not been soft or connected with our emotions or allowing the expression of self where have we not been a receiver like it's bad to receive you should be doing you should be doing you should be working hard you got a work ethic it's like a bad thing to receive. And so then so many people end up so lacking, so depleted, so burnt out because they don't know how to actually receive. Um, this is one of the major, major problems with why so many people have ill health and don't get better. Um, and then all the doing, doing, I gotta do, 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 and not stop. Stop is stagnation or it's bad. Don't stay still, go, go, go. And so this other aspect of the masculine, it isn't that masculine is bad or feminine is good. It's just that we have such an imbalance now that what will create more for pretty much all of us is to come into a balance and allow more of that <clears throat> aspect of receiving, aspect of stillness, aspect of honoring the inner or not just all about the outer what's happening within me how am I feeling right now living from more from a space of honoring the self so if you are feeling all of that like oh my god the world's falling apart and the fear of that just know this is not something that is out of your control it's actually something that is um, assisting your awakening and when you heed that call to like where have I really not honored myself and put myself aside? I got to do for others. I got to do what others need to do. Or where have I really not honored the space of I need to go slower and, and like instead I'm like doing more, doing more, doing more. Where have I not honored myself? Because that is where you're going to feel the anger of like, wow, all, all these men are uh, abusing women and it's not fair and why isn't it being heard? So let it like internalize it and feel it within you like, whoa, where's the awakening for me to begin to honor myself and celebrate myself as never before that I am a creator through my sensuality. I am a, 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 a contributor through being receptive, through being able to receive all things in grace and ease. Totally goes against what we've been taught in our collective about, like I remember even in my medical training, it was like, oh, this one is just a trophy wife. And it was like this bad thing to be a receiver or to let someone take care of you and contribute to you. And I remember thinking like, geez, I kind of like that in a way too, to have, yeah, I'm, I'm being, becoming a doctor, but it's like not as a way to block receiving or show I'm better than somebody or, you know, so it was like, is that really a bad thing? And 
there were a lot of women who kind of used it to be like, I'm not going to be that. And there was all this judgment. And so can we be in our feminine and allow the softness and receptivity to have the abundance we really want? Because especially as a doctor, I can't really give to anyone and contribute to anyone if I'm in my own depletion and my own repression. And being a receiver is the biggest part of that. So that's why I am out for a beautiful walk with my little baby and not working in some ER right now in my life because that would not be a contribution to me. So are you willing to honor yourself implicitly and infinitely and let that be your contribution to the world? Sharing so, so, so much love and compassion for all how so many of us, all of us, men and women, have been um, kind of beaten down by the way we've been taught to be in our society where it doesn't honor ourselves. So I'm sending you love and compassion and strength and encouragement to awaken into your receptive side and allow yourself to honor yourself as never before. Kim Duramo here from drkimd.com. Certainly share this message, like the message, uh, because that actually on YouTube um, invites a lot more people to begin to hear this message. So if it's something that you stand for, celebrate that. Lots of love. Bye.